progress. So after rewriting the uh, data management solution, we get we get the f of x is equal to of x is equal to the x i So if you just observe this particular term, it's same as this. Okay, it's alpha plus xi. So here I have written y plus alpha. So it is actually y replaced by x and theta upon tau is replaced by alpha. Okay. Similarly, here also we have n minus y minus this parameter. So we have written here m plus beta minus y. It is y something y plus theta minus divided by alpha beta. So divided by this is theta upon tau upon minus theta. This is your alpha, this is your beta. If you want, you can write down alpha become theta upon tau and theta become minus theta upon tau. Y become x i n upon d. Is actually changes we require here to get simple form. So if you just look at this PDF, it has so many terms. Just, so it is usual, usual your uh, parameter like x alpha beta. So one can do very easily to simplify this PDF. So the next task is that we can consider finding the data. And either you can take this. This is the terms of piano. This is the terms of the. That's a better you can take the terms. Now, if you just observe in this case, this whole term is independent of the x. This whole term is here, independent of the x. Correct. So it's a. Uh, you can say the product of I is running from one to the n. So we'll take capital N. This is same as you can just remove the constant here. So it's going to be gamma alpha plus gamma beta. Gamma alpha. Gamma alpha plus beta plus. Whole power to we have capital N. 
into now you can take this acceleration so let's put up i is nothing from to n and the exam into plus exam data plus n minus x okay is that clear to you is that clear to you Yes. Okay. Now just take the log like u functions so that we have here n time. And then on. Yeah, R is equal to beta. So this I'm taking up. So n into this term minus ln of this alternate, right? So ln of alpha minus ln of your beta minus ln of your alpha. Plus summation I running from one to the other. Ln of x to x i plus Ln of x to x i. So now, if you just observe here, we have the two parameters alpha and theta. Okay, alpha is so we can differentiate So when you differentiate, when you differentiate this particular function, we can call this is a diagonal function. The Okay, because this contains the cut plus you have this constant. This again we have the sum of alpha. So this it becomes a diagonal function. This is zero. So we have an estimate class function.
Similarly, we can compute for beta, the square root beta, the beta you can do. Let me know if you have any queries for this. You just think whether I'm writing correct or not. Yes, and time. So, differential is to beta, probably we get our diagram of function with alpha plus beta minus this is zero. Beta becomes the diagram of beta minus and now this time we will be getting this term zero, this term zero, we will get this term. Diagram of function beta plus n. So, this let me know if you have any questions. Any query no students? Or any steps which you want to do? So, first derivative of object for both the parameters, now it can equate to zero, equate with zero, but you cannot equate to what can be alpha and beta here, because these equations are not easy to solve, right? So, alpha is dependent upon the beta, and even here beta is dependent upon the alpha. So we have to use the iterative procedure to solve these examples, solve these equations to get the alpha and beta values. What we need to do here, just compute second derivative. Try to get the second derivative of the function. So again, if we differentiate this quantity with respect to alpha, we get n time. And this time we call phi 1 of alpha plus beta minus phi 1 of alpha minus phi 1 of alpha plus beta. Plus summation phi is running from 1 to n. Similarly, we can obtain for the beta. Which is same as again, it's a very tough job. Five one. Just 
plus theta to the power yes. i one over two plus m minus six. Okay. So this we are getting uh, here. First estimator, the second differentiation, and the second estimator, the second second derivative. Now, what can able to obtain log of the same objects are respect to alpha and beta. So you have the differentiation with respect to alpha. Now, obtain this same equation with respect to beta. So just obtain a differentiation with respect to beta here. So the end time, pi one over alpha plus beta. With respect to beta now we are okay. So this is zero and this will be alpha plus beta plus respect to beta. So again this one is going to be zero. These are the equations you have obtained with respect to alpha, beta, and alpha and beta. दो मिनट टाइम वेस्ट कीजिए बच्चे बोलेंगे सर कहाँ से स्टूडेंट्स एनी क्वेरी हियर कैन यू मी स्टूडेंट्स ओके सो नाउ वंस यू हैव ऑफ कैन दिस डेरिवेटिव्स the next task is that we get the how to get the estimator we have not can do so you can do one thing 
We are just obtaining this J. Where J is known as score function. Which is same as only the first element. So it is basically you can uh, Or you can just change the notation or this is just S, which is a score function. Which is basically your first element. Okay. So L dash of your function you can consider. L dash. And J contain the first derivative of XI. This is your covariance time. Similarly, reverse of this will give you this. So it's the same because of the symmetry. So one can call this is called variance covariance matrix. Here I can mention I zero will be diagram of functions. And I one is your trigonal functions. I hope we already know these functions. Give the name. Neutral reaction method. Yeah. 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 Or there are several methods, but we are basically we are using the neutral reaction. Neutral reaction method. One can estimate this alpha and beta will be using. Just check whether you can handle it. I mentioned yet X. Okay. So here uh, manually it is not possible to obtain these estimator alpha and beta, which we have to use the Newton algorithm to, to calculate the alpha and beta using the initial values of alpha and beta. So we can consider initial values of alpha and beta. J inverse, so this is the matrix. This is the matrix. So you can take the inverse of this into this value, which is there, into partial derivative of the uh, alpha. That means this time, this and this. So 
So this will give you the estimate of pulp and so this is the method. This is your ML. Any question is there? Or any term which you not understand because this is something uh, different. I don't know whether you have studied these methods or not. Have you studied this technique and methods? My mistake somewhere. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Newton has method of study aspects, right? Now let us consider the next method. 